find the values of the constants a b and c so that the directional derivative of phi the function phi is given that is a x y square plus c z square x cube plus b y z at the point 1 2 minus 1 has maximum magnitude 64 in a direction parallel to z axis so here you have to find out the value of a b and c um, such that the directional derivative of phi at 1 2 minus 1 as maximum value 64. So the function phi is given a x y square plus c z square x cube plus b y z to find the directional derivative or d phi that is the gradient we have to find out the gradient of the function or grad phi and we know gradient of a scalar function phi can be represented or expressed in terms of the del operator. Del operator is a vector operator. So if you take del of the scalar function, then that will give you the gradient of the scalar function. And gradient of the scalar function will give you the maximum value of the, um, or the maximum value or the directional derivative of the scalar function. So del of the function phi, we know del operator is given by i cap partial derivative with respect to x plus j cap partial derivative with respect to y plus k cap partial derivative with respect to z and the function phi is given a x y square plus c z square x cube plus b y z. So now let us find out the uh, partial derivative of this function that, that means phi with respect to x if we find out the partial derivative with respect to x for this term it will be equal to a y square for the first term then the, for the second term this will be equal to c z square and derivative of x cube is equal to 3 x square uh, and uh, for this term there will be there is no x so the partial derivative will be equal to 0 so for the ith term it is equal to a y square plus c z square 3 x square i cap and to find the partial derivative of this function phi with respect to y for this first term this will be equal to a x and partial derivative of y square is equal to 2 y for the second term there is no y so partial derivative will be equal to 0 and for the third term you have partial derivative with respect to y equal to 1 and only b z so the second term will be equal to x uh, 2y plus bz uh, j cap that means for, uh, this is the component for the jth component then for the kth component then we have the partial derivative with respect to z here you have no z so partial derivative will be equal to 0 and for this term uh, partial derivative will be equal to c z square uh, sorry c x q c x q and partial derivative with respect to z is equal to 2 z so 2cxq uh, 2z and for this term this will be equal to by and partial derivative with respect to z is equal to 1. So cxq 2z plus by k cap and we have to find out the gradient of the function scalar function phi at the point 1 2 minus 1 because it is given that the directional derivative of the function at 1 2 minus 1 as maximum value. So if you put in this equation x equal to 1, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to minus 1. For this term you see y square, y square means 2 square, so 4, so 4a. And for this term x is equal to 1, so 3, 3 into c because z is equal to minus 1, minus 1 square is equal to 1. So second term is equal to 3c, so 4a plus 3c into i cap and for this term you have ax into 2y, uh, y is equal to 2, so 2 into 2, 4, x equal to 1, so 4a, and for this term, b into z is equal to minus 1, so minus b into j cap, plus the, for the third term, this term, cxq, so c into uh, x is equal to 1, so xq is equal to 1, 2 into minus 1, that is equal to minus uh, minus 2c I have written here minus 2c and by 2 into y so 2b minus 2c into k cap so you have three terms 
वन एलॉंग एक्स एक्सिस एलॉंग वाई एक्सिस थर्ड एलॉंग जेड एक्सिस एंड इट इज गिवेन दैट द डिरेक्शनल डेरिवेटिव हेज मैक्सिम वैल्यू सिक्सटी फोर इन ए डिरेक्शन पारालाल टू जेड एक्सिस सो इफ यू टेक द डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस वेक्टर विथ के कैप देन ओनली के कैप विल एक्जिस्ट बिकॉज i cap and j cap will be equal to zero when you take the dot product uh, k cap dot k cap will be equal to 1 so you have only 2b minus 2c will be equal to 64 so b minus c will be equal to 32 so suppose this is equation number 1 and uh, it is given that the directional derivative of has maximum value along z axis only so along y axis the directional derivative will be equal to zero and uh, along z axis it is also equal to, sorry along a y axis it is also equal to zero so if you take the dot product of this vector of this vector along x axis and y axis that means along i cap it will be equal to zero and along j cap also it will be equal to zero that means 4a plus 3c will be equal to zero and 4a minus b also equal to zero so you have another equation 4a plus 3c will be equal to zero. Suppose equation two and 4a minus b equal to zero. That is equation three. And you solve equation one, two, and three to find the value of a, b, c. So if you subtract equation three from two, then 4a cancels. Then 3c plus b that is equal to zero. So b will be equal to minus 3c. So if you put the value of b equal to minus 3c. In equation one, here you put b equal to minus three c. I have written here, so minus three c minus c that is equal to thirty two. So minus four c is equal to thirty two. So c is equal to minus eight. So if you put the value of c that is equal to minus eight in equation two, then you will get four b. Uh, here you, you put the value of c here minus eight. Uh, so b will be equal to uh, how much? Twenty-four. Okay, and uh, if you put uh, the value of c equal to minus eight here, you will get a will be equal to six. So in this way, you can find out the values of on the constants a, b, c, so that the given directional derivative of the function phi, scalar function phi, at one to minus one has maximum magnitude sixty-four. in a direction parallel to z axis